Well, we're gonna continue Paper Mario. I don't have the heart to break them. Well, oh, wake them. Jeez, break them. Anyway. We go to the sewers. Oh, wait. Honus needs to be upgraded. Power up the Ponus. <laughs> Ponus enlargement. Oh dear. Ponus enhancement. bunch of areas that I can probably get to just with this new ability to be able to go across little barriers, but and now, oh, do you hear something? What is this? Oh, a fast travel room, that's cool. What is this lead? Gradual syrup. Okay. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I got it. No need to saddle here. I mean, this isn't... Like, they're gonna go down pretty easily. That attack is pretty brutal. I can only imagine what this game would have been like if it was on the DS instead. They would have made you blow into the microphone to do that. <laughs> and then I would have had to have gotten a hairdryer out right now. What is this? The pit of a hundred- oh. Uh, not now. Not now. Oh, wait, but this is entering the pit, is it not? 
Oh, it leads here. That's convenient. This is where I wanted to go anyway. We're gonna be at about the halfway mark. shows where the fourth crystal star is. Guess we'll have to show this to that frankly guy. But first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh yeah. It's kind enough to just take me straight there, which is good. What? <laughs> ah, the, the group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Aha, uh -huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need that legendary treasure. <laughs> ah, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. <laughs> Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks think the power of the cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will or d will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Prof. We need to find that next crystal star super quick. Ah. According to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about this place myself, only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of the town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back here and see me again, okay? Under the ground in the west part of town. Gotcha. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's go. Time to break out. I love that Mario doesn't correct him and say, actually, dude, it's Mario. Keeps calling him Poopy Coop. Dear Mario and Coop, I hope you two are doing well. I do, I have to admit, with Coop's gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely. I go into Coop's house and I smell that Coop smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Coopley. He has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to that smell. What the fuck is this email? Oh, what am I writing? I'm embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Oh, hey. I miss your smell. I keep smelling things, but it smells like your old man. Oh, I guess I should get used to that smell since we're going to be married. Okay, bye. Um, it's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty. 
the notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending time with my little turtle toes? The possibilities such a comment open has our eyes and ears glued. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Okay, something I'm gonna check out while I'm here. Can I... Is Ponus strong enough to... Ponus is strong enough. Oh yeah, I was also looking for a key, but I haven't found the key yet in town. Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Hmm, I wonder if she must be out admiring the local landmarks. She does enjoy sightseeing. Please don't wait another moment, you must find the princess. You must. Sure. Okay. I thought it hadn't healed. Oh, there's a key here. Okay, I found it. Ah, sneaky. Took all my trouble, you? Okay, then please find my key and be quick about it! If someone else finds my key, then they'll be able to get into my house, so I'll stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Oh, talking to him would have, uh... Yes, my key! I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home, thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, okay? Is there anything unique? Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. My instinct is to immediately smack things. Hey, I might be able to upgrade another character if I find one more. Who are you? Good afternoon to you, sir. I am Grifty, 
the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Roadport. If you'd like, I can share them with you, but it'll require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. The Fearsome Demon. The Stalwart Cooper. The Four Heroes. The Wise Goomba. Okay. For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of the Fearsome Demon. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, t'was a demon. The city sank below the ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with treasures stolen from all over the world. If there is another tale you wish to hear... Oh, that's it. Why does this character have no arms? The hero who arose? One day, there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm, but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. I don't know, like, odd voice could be ah, hello! Like that kind of toad voice, or that could be normal voice, I don't know. If there is another tale you wish to hear, just ask. There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods, gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. The Salwit Cooper. A Cooper who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever evil dwelt, and banished it with the shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear this scar-riddled Cooper, who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Cooper was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then a boo who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Cooper's spirit had melted the heart of the cold boo lass. Last one. The boo used her powerful magic to learn about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided. Her face a grim mask. We need the Toad Hero of Petal Meadows and the Wise Goomba of Bogley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. I'm hoping this will do something like tell me how to fight the last boss or something. Okay, so on to the west part of the city. Now, let me just check something. Let's see if there's anything else I can do whilst I am here. Okay, it, does, it doesn't let you do that. I thought I could be cheeky. Alright, it's fine. I've already talked to Luigi, so I don't have to talk to him. I'll check my ticket first. And not. I still got a prize anyway.
So I'll fully master them. I didn't figure out if this is a thing I can do. Oh, nice. Oh, see, now I can... What is this? I should go back and power, um... Oh yeah, no, that that's cool. <laughs> the loop around. It's okay, I've only been playing platformers since the age of four, you know? Not enough time to master a Mario game. Nope, Mario certainly wasn't the first game I played ever. I don't need to read where this goes. Or not. <laughs> The pipe rejected me. What gives you, lousy pipe? We gotta tell the professor about this. Okay. Why did it reject me? Why? Is this a this is a ground pound thing, isn't it? Not even worth. Not even worth it. At least there's no penalty for running. And I can just do that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, come on! That um makes me think of uh, what do you call it? Dot age. I've been playing Dot Age and um just when disaster's gonna strike it does a bar very similar to that, and I just have to hope that it, it doesn't roll. What I do? Oh, nice. Oh, that is really, really convenient. Nice. Now there's a really quick way of uh, getting down here. I can upgrade the other partner. She'll be able to lip lock to hurt foes and replenish HP. So that seems like a neat ability. 
This is going to be neat because from what I've read, in this game's code, there's a 4K mode. So at this point, it's all but confirmed that the new console will have 4K, but I can imagine how nice this would look with the extra resolution and hopefully <laughs> better frame rate. But that's not going to happen until next year by the looks of it. Probably announced this year, but not releasing till next year. Safe delivery. This is Makumba. And I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen rock walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Pref, we found your pipe and that thing's all stuffed up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How oh, odd. Well. Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through that pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, Dang. What was it? Ah, yes. The lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Darkly. Oh, that's Darkly. Hi there, I'm Darkly from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay. I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There. Perfecto mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Ponis, baby! <laughs> Ponis. Okay, I wrote Ponus on your back. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Ponus, baby. We'll do the delivery quest before I head out. You never know who'll be watching, so let's see this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find them in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. You know, 
when it's a delivery like this where it has to be be done on the low and incognito you know um what's the word there's a word for that kind of delivery but you know it's either drugs or it's a sex thing discreet delivery the package yep that's it I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find tell McGoomba I said so and do me a favor forget all this you hear me it never happened for your sake you never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Makumba my message, he'll give you a compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to Makumba. What are these two little little Goombas up to? Did you deliver it? Yeah, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck, you got something good. All right, that was easy. Pigs the bell tolls. Ooh, we're in spooky town. <laughs> Look at the pig. <laughs> this place gives me the creep. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours. Pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time for you to arrive. Wait, but if you're adventurers, maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me! <laughs> Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to tell. And scary to tell, too. Or oh, here. Jeez, I read that wrong. Scary to hear. Scary to tell. Oh, no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oh. Wow! That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? <laughs> Oh, badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? <laughs> I'm the mayor of this poor town. Them call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for telling of tales, sadly. Come. Come to my home. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people isn't generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Wow, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, 
beyond is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building. The creepy steeple. <laughs> the dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings. <laughs> One of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. <laughs> Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, day and night are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you, too, get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Wow, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Ugh. You... People, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable! Alright, we're going. <laughs> Actually. Oinkity, oinkity. There's gonna be a star piece here somewhere. Or that. That works. Uh-oh. Um. Dried mushroom. I'll just use it. It only heals one HP. I, I thought so. Like... I figured as much. <laughs> In this village, the moon is really all we can rely on. It can even grant wishes. Don't tell him. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. <laughs> Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband was turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? <laughs> kind traveler. If you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Sure. Hey kids, who wants a hot dog? <laughs> I'm not giving my hot dog. Have a dried mushroom. Oh, thank you so much. You made my children very happy and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Oh. Oh, and kind traveler, where do you hail? Wow, that's dark. I mean, I didn't cause this. I didn't make orphan children. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> mommy, you're a piggy. Hey, fix my mommy. Hey. A pig's gonna eat- What? <laughs> One of the kids. Dude, that's your mother. What is wrong with you? Guess I have kids now? Yeah, I guess so. Let me finish my tea.
Oh. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry. I'm not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig! My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got into a fight before he left. And I had called him a chauvinistic pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side too. Like cooking my favorite. And when shoppers get rid, my husband escorts him out. Now he's got so many wonderful things in him, you know. I wish I could dip into the cola money. And I could really do without him. Oh my god. Let me read this. Yeah. Um, are you even listening? So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom if it might help, you know? Please help me. I'm well, sad the storeroom's locked. My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. Man, I mean, it's comedic, but, you know, you kind of have to be a bit of an arsehole to fall, just, like... If he's actually sleeping, an arsehole. If he's pretending to sleep, bigger arsehole. <laughs> like, Paper Mario. Not the greatest of people. Rejected? What is it with these pipes rejecting me? <laughs> A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing, isn't that kind of cliched? You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Go, Ponus, go. Wow, the bell rang, Gonzalez. Doesn't that mean that someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get piggied. Living in this dark place is so depressing. You know, I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Wow, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We needed that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Oinky, oinky. Well, what if we wait until the dude at the gate turns into a pig? Then he can't stop us. Let's just leave for a while. Let's hit the casino. And then we come back and dude will be... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was kidding, but that's... That's exactly what happened. Wow, the gate dude's gone. Oops, nope, not gone. Stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig is going to get in our way. If we have new enemies, i got to swap for Tattle. Do. Spooky Goombas.
That's a hyper Goomba, which means, um, it's a hyperactive Goomba. Duh. Max HP 8, attack 2, defense 0. But if this guy goes bizarre and charges up, his attack power will turn will be 8. Oh, no. He better wipe it out between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, then run away, okay? Ooh. Okay, nope. Scorched Earth. That is actually frightening. <laughs> Wait, they're still alive. Okay, one Goomba. One Goomba's fine. I can I can take one Goomba. Man, Earthquake is not one-shotting anymore. Just use this. Back to Ponus. I don't know, man. Like a quality of life thing. Let me carry more items. Gotcha! Using Tattle is going to start to get more dangerous soon. That's a Hyper Para Goomba. It's basically just a Hyper Goomba with wings. Okay. After charging up, you'll be dealing with moves that have an attack power of 8. Once you jump on it, it'll lose its wing and turn into a regular Hyper Goomba. Not that that's all that cool. Even normal Hyper Goombas are dangerous. Oh boy. No, we are swapping to Ponus. Ponus is better for this. We're just going through the whole family of Goombas. Mm. 
in the egg. Interesting. Um, we have to tattle. I mean, okay, we don't have to. I want to tattle. That's a hypey, hyper spiky Goomba. It's a hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. After charging up, its attack power rises to an incredible level of nine. It, that's scary. Beat it before it attacks or you'll be in peril before you know it. Seriously. If only this book listed a way to dodge that attack. Do, they do not waste time. Nice. Not enough to beat it, but still. Oh man, this is rough. They're only worth 6 XP and they do so much damage. a hot dog right now. Another pig. Are the keys here? Upon us. I'm not gonna talk to him, I'm just gonna go straight to the back. Sheet. Ooh, there's a bunch of items in here, but like I, I shouldn't grab them yet. Defend plus. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hey, who's there? <laughs> I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Oh, what's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here! No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not like those chests. I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not. Seriously, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. Come on. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Uh, well, 
a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Ah, oh, come on, please, just find this key and open the chest, okay? I know it's near this town somewhere, I just can't go look for it myself because I'm in here. So, pretty pretty, please? Alright, we'll be back. Still rejecting me, huh? Sorry. Hmm. Where would this key be? Oh, right, orphans. <laughs> let's not let's not check in on them for a while. I don't know why Paper Mario games are so dark sometimes. I'm sure their parents will be fine once I restore things. it would be. I'm gonna go to an inn, actually. Yes. Oh, I should have used the coupon, actually. Because I have a couple. I keep forgetting. What's that? It's only one HP. Dude gave me breakfast and I was like, nah. These things are alive again. I'm just gonna sneak by. I don't know where this key is. I had the storeroom key, but I don't think it's the same one. It's a silver one. You know what? I should probably fight. Even though these things are tricky. I can always use the in voucher. Never enough to be able to take them all out at once. Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Right before you flip, you can do it. Okay. Well, with this, I can do this, and this will wipe them out. what I have. Where this to let Mario use charge for 1 FP when charge is selected from... Okay. It's cool. Quake hammer sounds good. Looking carefully around here. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's hidden. I don't know. There's probably a simpler answer. this way. Okay, I see. Okay, well, <laughs> there we go. Simple answer. Oh, thank goodness you're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Way! Balls! What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm going to hit you with the King of Curses, the cursiest curse ever! Bear my terrible power, you will know the pain of having your body roll up real small. Be cursed! Hey, now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as a tacky tube. <laughs> You're suffering something, something, something. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR, then rotate repeatedly. <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassingly extruded wheel. I want to get a good, long look at you in this pitiful form. Now roll! Roll like a dropped butterscotch on a sidewalk. Hey, <laughs> well, do you see how pitiful and tubular you are? When the suffering becomes too much, press B to revert to your normal self. Don't forget! 
So tell me, do you understand your eternal cylindrical agony? I leave it to you. I leave you to suffer, fools. I can't read. So we're just going to roll under that tree. You opened the storeroom, I see. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for a chance to get my husband back, I think. No sense in fretting, though. I should get the store ready for business. I sure wish my husband back in normal form to help me run the place, you know? I wish I had my husband. Just put the pig behind the counter. I'm sure the pig will do a good job. At noon today, the Excess Express ran late for the first time in 10 years as a suspicious incident activated station security measures. Area youth and huge train enthusiast Lucky was found taking pictures in an employee-only area near the Express and was gang-tackled by local Samaritans. I understand how much people are into trains, but we've got safety and security measures to uphold, blustered the train engineer. The youth was released with just a warning, this time. Yeah, I mean, fine. Oh. Oh no, I messed it up. It's not good. Man, they just do that instantly. Um, ugh, this is annoying. I might run. But I messed it up. I don't want to take damage before the next bit. I was expecting a pig in there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I blew a house down. Oh boy. Well, I, I want to tattle. That's a crazy daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP 7, attack 2, defense 0. What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when its HP runs low, it runs away, so try to KO it in one fell swoop. Okay, well now it's gonna get knocked out in one hit.
this. I can't gulp. Uh oh. Alright, let's just do this. They really don't give much XP for what you have to invest into them. Hang on, I left some coins. Hot dog to us. There we go. Nope, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. gonna be a tough stretch. Oh, they're all flowers, so okay. Um That count as low HP, I guess we'll see. Damn it! <laughs> oh, this is not cool. Really? Really? Okay. I think I'm gonna be running away from those things from now on. When they're clustered like that. That's a new enemy type. Well, first, get rid of this. It's a hyper cleft, basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. Oh no. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. 
couple of ta rock hardness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try Super Guards to send its attack back. If you can't, you'd better use some items. Or you'd better hightail it out of here. Okay. Well, it didn't charge up, thankfully. But we have Piercing Blow, which is a good counter to this thing. What's this thing? Damage enemies at a distance. That ignores defense. Ooh. Anything that is, ignores defense is good. I thought it was going to be... Okay, no, it's intended progression. Wait! Oh, damn it. Get back. Really? A mirror image? What is this? This is going to be rough. Honest, no. Um, uh oh, this is problematic. What am I going to do? No, but see, I need. Uh, let's just hope it runs. At least that fight was worth it. This area is uh is frightening. I'll just give him one for now. <laughs> yeah, this is Creepy Steeple, that nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. Look, Gonzalez, let's just get that crystal star and get out of here fast. Oh, well. Had I known... Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Your eyes on the beetle. I'm sorry, it's funny. That's a buzzy beetle. Aw, it's kind of cute. Max HP 5, attack 3, defense is 4. It's got pretty good defense and fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it and can flip it over and drop its defense down to 0, then it's at our mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump, 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 jump! Or we do this. Something that completely ignores defense. like one at a time. Okay, well, my tactic here will be still piercing blow. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Max HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over and drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. What? Oh, it missed. Boating. Oh, it missed? Oh, because of the mist. The fog is making it bad, that's why. I'm just gonna normal hammer it. Oh, powered up hammer. Come on, don't miss. That is a little annoying. <laughs> Got it. Um... I'll see this. Mess up the last phase. Cool. This is probably worth taking them out here because experience is decent. Properly execute action commands to deal extra damage to all mid air foes. Interesting.
Um, I'm just gonna do this again. Probably worthwhile. Alright, I'm going back to Ponus. Oh, what? How? How could that be? them out single-handedly. Oops. So bad at that. There we go. This is easier than having to face those enemies that charge up. I seem to be getting the, uh, the stylish jump now. Look at that. I'm actually getting it right now. If I can only get that right. See, I thought this would open up 
Oh. Hold on. Interesting. Hmm. for health given there are enemies now that hit like trucks. My friends have all been taken away so lonely. I'm going to roll away from that. Oh, nice. I smash may temporarily freeze and immobilize an enemy. All right. Thought as much. It's either a new party member or it's a villain. No. <laughs> My friends are all gone, so very lonely. Okay, never mind. For once, the boos are friendly. Don't leave me alone. this what oh there we go it's like a void that is an excellent badge I'm gonna try and get that one going in fact I might be able to swap out with some things now it depends how much it costs Cold flower say four. Okay. Yeah. It's not enough to get rid of. chest. <laughs> Jeez. Clown car. Okay, it's quiz... Oh, please no. It's quiz time, interloper. Just now when the box opened, how many... 
Well, I don't know. 50, it wasn't 100. <laughs> Too bad, Foolish Mole, the correct was 200. But we'll send you home with this consolation prize. See you, sucker. Like, I was paying attention. I could just load the game and get the correct answer. I thought history was going to repeat itself. <laughs> Are you going to be mean to me? No. <laughs> Promise! Come on out, guys. Oh, you little... I thought they were going to take me somewhere. I guess they did. <laughs> it's kicked me out. Guess let's not be mean. Got you. I've already identified them. Wait, haven't I? But weren't they in the, um... They were in... One of the battles in the Coliseum. Guess not. That's a sweeper. I bet they call it that because of the way it sweeps around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway, max HP 6, attack 3, defense 0. Says here they hang from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. Ah, hammer! Oh, even better. Ah! <laughs> or not. That was rude. See, the thing is, I, I want flower points, but I think health is starting to get more important. Especially given there were enemies that did up to nine damage, and they're just regular enemies. Oh, it didn't count as a bonk. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. A 
probably should have gone for the other one because that one wasn't going to do any damage. Oh well. This is the reason of this. Oh, there you go. A weird leaf found in creepy steeple. Hmm. I guess that was the secret. See, we're in a ghost house. That's probably not good. It's a, it's a bait. Yeah, I doubt it would be two. I'm gonna assume this is what appeared. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Don't let him touch. I promise not to hurt them. I get the feeling if I do, something bad's gonna happen. Get him, Ponus. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use this. Just to be able to get uh, some FP back. thing is going down anyway. That count is hurting them. Um, okay. I'm gonna spin jump. Just to get rid of it. That's a boo. Everyone's favorite ghost. Well, most everyone. Wait, most everyone? Oh. I don't know if that, that was intended. Nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn its 
itself or allies invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Boos are kind of cute, but I assume I wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran into one in the bathroom, I might be... Oh, in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never you mind what I'd do. <laughs> Out reliable upon us. Okay, so all I have to do is just land us. You suck, Mario. At least this is a nice area in terms of uh, enemy types. I just think there's a place to squeeze through here. Oh, this just goes into the main room. We don't want that. Oh, I see. It shifts the staircase. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, I get it now. He says as he goes through the door before pressing the button. Alright. Go upon us. Wait, oh, there's a... <sighs> That's not cool. <laughs> was I blind or was it hit? Oh, no, I was blind. Go, go. In my defense, it's like 11 p.m. <laughs> Mid midnight brain almost here. the look of that. I'm not sure what it is. But that doesn't look very welcoming. Just 
just checking. This seemed strangely straightforward so far. Like I had to go through more in the uh, arena thing. Hang on there, Slick. What are you doing interrupting my me time? Wow, come on, this guy is the monster the mayor was freaking out about? Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem, huh? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking up new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost! Of course, you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well, alright, Slick. Fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You stink, mister. Why'd you want to turn them into pigs anyway? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring with and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs. Get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Okay, well, you know, something that ignores defense, probably a good move. Alright, you're up. Spill the beans. Huh? Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that doesn't look, that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list the name. Max HP 40, attack 4, defense 0. Apparently it's really good at transforming itself into other things. Maybe it used that power to turn villagers into pigs. This thing is a real jerk. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're going to play like that, Slick. Well, since there's no defense. Oh, crap. Alright, bring out Ponus. Just do normal jumps until things get serious. You know there's gonna be a phase two. So close. Hmm, time to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. Oh no. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Haha, <laughs> I'm a dang genius. Yeah. 
should be fine. Why am I messing that up? <laughs> it's alright. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on. What? 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 Huh? You beat me. Damn, no double XP bonus. That would have been nice. Oh, really? I'm surprised. That was a short chapter. Okay. Mario defeated the Scourge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth Crystal Star. The people of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven Crystal Stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. That's it? That's all you got? Man, this guy was a wimp. It wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? We got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. I was gonna say I thought Mario looked weird. Yeah, okay. Swap bodies. Never mind. Hopefully Ponus realizes. <laughs> yes. This time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Go. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that, huh, mean what I think it does? Hi. I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover up for yourself! If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little loggy gagging worm? I... no, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it. Now, can we? Oh, you are such an idiot! Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. 
So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go for go take a well-earned siesta? Jeez, I couldn't read that. And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I I get punished. That's right, you little twitch. So get crackling, cracking. Come, Marilyn. Let's leave this useless fool to a chore. Got her. Well, I still have all my abilities, I guess. Nope. Now is not the time to fighting things, not without a partner. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm running. This is not a good thing. No touchy! <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm running. and worse, isn't it? Hold on. Now. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. This doesn't seem bad, but it's, they put you to sleep, so no, I'm good. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's easier to just escape this way. Yeah, it's better. Super speed. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right? Slick, your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to be really, to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. The hell? Wrongamundo, little nobody. Who'd name their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle, you hear? No running.
You're not thinking about running away, are you? You better not be. Oh, that's no fun. I figured. Oh, they're all back to normal now. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, oh, that perfect red cap, those scuffed blue overalls, he's the best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? Ah, uh, I do not understand this madness. Pass du tu. How do you say that? Pass du tau. Tut. Not at all. I just do not get it. I remember coming through here through that pipe. But it gets fuzzy after that. I do not know why I am here. Not that it is a problem. This young woman is quite fetching, eh? Alright. I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. Oh, this is awkward. That pig wasn't my husband after all. This guy is younger and kind of handsome. What a strapping fellow. Perhaps it's time I traded in for a new husband. Oh, I'm only fooling. I'm gonna store things. I mean... Yeah, this one. Let's go find Vivian. Hey, we're the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Uh, what'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's just going to punish me again. It should be around here somewhere, but I just can't find it. So I got ahead of myself with this. Super -ba bomb. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find that my sister's going to punish me again. Okay. There you go. What? You found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh, no. It's broken. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? Oh. Why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Let me fix it. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What'll I do now, huh? My sisters will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I, I can't hear you. Your name was stolen. I see. Well, that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's, well... I'm not sure what to call that kind of problem. Which fits, I guess. Gee whiz, you sure have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me that whole time? That's... that's so kind. Alright, that's it. 
I'm going to help you get back your name and your body and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. We aren't very happy together. Truth is, it took me a while to realize I was their sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. I also feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do, right? Right? Every girl is gonna kiss Mario. So, hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Vivian's abilities are primal. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. Oh, stealth? Okay, no, that's cool. Super useful. You can use this ability to hide. That's great. Oh, that's it? Okay, well, I'm sure her upgrade will probably do something cool. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with a Veil move. Okay, that is super useful. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? But hey, I've got an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But they're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, we can hide in the shadows so you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. But they see us coming, though, no? like we just... How does this work? Oh, there we go. So I was chatting with Rotbeak in Toad Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. And he said he'd just gone fiber optic on <laughs> his home network. Would you believe that? Rad. I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problem on these fat, on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that feather club for Crow's sight at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away, all this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and feather loss sites that are driving the technology. Yeah. But I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. This is, this is wild. Do we hide behind them? Like this? It'd be cool if some of these villagers just started doing funny things. I guess it's just crows. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Man, these crows and their conversations. I wonder if we can use this ability on Luigi. <laughs> he just tells the truth about his adventures or something. That'd be funny. Alas, this pilot world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. Hey Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my el oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo.
Oh, that's handy. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb. It makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. It's so obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. And the creepy still. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Did you hear that? If we search on the creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to creepy steeple. Can I enter this pipe as a shadow? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe. I guess we're going to Creepy Steeple. What's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that would have looked very good, would it? Yeah. <laughs> Psychotic Mario. So this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, Panda Chatter, here's the real deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name and body... Oh. Escape. Ah, that's no fun. I kind of figured. He must have been hiding in there, in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Yeah, the problem with this area is, like, the enemies that hit, like, trucks, so I'm going to avoid combat like the plague. These birds make a good point about what? People being stupid? About everything they said. Oh, like fossil fuels as well? Yeah. They should run for office. It's only gonna get harder to do. Really like spam it. I forgot I had that ability. But it doesn't. This game has really cool character designs. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was trying to jump past it. Yeah, we don't want to fight this stuff. Anything that's hyper, no thank you. Under, I mean, it refers to this. Huh? 
but I couldn't figure out how to get through this. Yeah, go back up. Let's just make sure it's not something else I need to do first. Oh no, wait a minute. No, it is. It is there. I just realized how I overcome that. Oh, that's annoying. He's pissing blood because the defense is too high. There's a problem with this, though. I can already power her up, so that's great. I was foolish to think that this was a short chapter. <laughs> surprised when the boss went down that easy. Good morning, good morning. Pretty bad, pretty bad. What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, oh, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, locking me up here just because I know it, and making me guard the name's stupid missing letter? No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker, Dupless. You're a big meanie. When's your feeding time, huh? Quack, quack. Uh, uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Dupless? Oh, the name input screen was missing a P. That's kind of funny. Hmm, <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Dupless. That's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it.
Oh, okay. Now this makes sense. Well, that's nice. Not having to walk back. Um, I should hit the save point, though. I'll hit the inn as well. <laughs> Use the coupon. It's free, may as well. What's up, Slick Bean? Waiting for you. Hey, Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions because you're getting erased. But first, amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Oh wait, I sp spelt it wrong. That's with two O's, idiot. Dopless, wrong. Thankfully, it imagine I just would have died instantly. Dupless with two O's. Do they say something different every time? Oh no, it's the same thing. Oh, we got it. What? What did you just say? It can't be. No 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 why 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 how 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 I'm feeling faint Now it's our turn, let's get your name and body back. Where would he go hide? I hope it's something painfully obvious for comedic value. That would be great. Um, here's a thought. I should go through the pipe, go to the mansion. Just in case I have to traverse this whole thing again. And work backwards. So I don't want to go through all those enemies, they're just annoying. Oh, it was here. And we can go this way. Is hiding in that secret room. Or he's probably back in the tower. Oh, hello. Huh? The interloper returns. 
Want me to quiz you again? If you get all three of my questions right, I'll give you something good. The first question. Which townsperson is guarding Rogue Port's east side? Yes, make the player focus on the minutia of everything. Ask them questions about, in the first room of the game, what color was pixel X 43, Y 74? What's that you want paying attention to the color of a single pixel in a 1920 by 1080 pixel game? Bad luck, take the quiz again. Um, Gus? Remember the villager turned pig you met? What was his name? Gloomer. What will we find on the table if you stay? Uh, Peachy Peach. Guess you earned this with your huge brain, you nerd. Come back again. Okay, well. Of course not. What's that? You want to carry that reward? <laughs> Alright, anyway. These I don't mind fighting. These are fine to fight. Ooh, that's an interesting attack. stairs, I guess. I hope it's here. Hey, you again, ass slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, I see, I get it. Let's just put this to an end, shall we? All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo, it's uh, me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right with you, uh-oh. This creep couldn't take us out on his own, so he teamed up with the three minus two shadows. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain Gonzalez style, little shadow guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario. Mario? This guy stole your name? 
and body? The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario, I feel like an idiot. What's going on here? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us ghoulies. Uh-oh. 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 Yuck, 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 yuck. See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me. Super Mario! Guess what? Can't touch this. Can't touch this. What damage? <laughs> yeah. That's right, you guessed my name and now stuff hurts sometimes. That's fine. Just preventing her from attacking me. I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've, I've made my choice and I'm not turning back. to do that. Let's go. Oh no, what? I didn't press it. Oh, timed right. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Oh, he's doing special moves. Oh, get wrecked. Oh my god, it's timing. How dare you try and do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you! I've almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. How come she doesn't do that when I fight with her? <laughs> like, the variable number of jumps. Okay, there we go. No, why? How? Mario!
You killjoys. What? He ran away. I mean, wait. Just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario. Did we get chow winked? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. So who's the scale, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. Okay, I've now really actually got on it. Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystals. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all of the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off toward his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? What will become of the doppelganger Dupless? Yeah, Vivian is very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Duh. Are you sure about this? Speak up, x Not. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. You're yeah, quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the ceiling power has definitely been awakened, as Baldum said. <laughs> Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. <laughs> listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. <laughs> of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario. That meddling scum. Got it, Sam. Soon I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the x naught regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world, yes. A world made by me, about me, and for me. <laughs> Heck, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No. No, never mind. Forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let us have a quiz. A quiz? That is right. I am about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden? 
Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? First one's a Dragon Ball reference. <laughs> Correct. Second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x Knots? Conquer the world. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that awaits behind the thousand-year door? Heck. Is this... Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year-old door? The thousand-year demon's soul. Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? Bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Heck, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Ah, uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come now. You there, two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. Good, good gravy. Bowser, the evil king, and the deluded old hag. Oh, 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 life's too short. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where did Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Ah, Now my special dirigible deluxe broom bag cami lunch will go to waste! Warning light! Oh no, don't tell me! <laughs> Ready to roll! Oh my god, this is great. I <laughs> love these stages. I can now see where the Wii version of the game, like... Well, okay, the Wii game, sorry. Got the idea to allow Bowser in the party. Oh my god. 
Just more of this stuff. Yeah, good, good. Been playing Mario since the age of four. Yeah, good. Definitely not dying on the inside. Why do I feel compelled to hit everything? I love that with him it's just straight up meat. It's like, nah, no vegetarian stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Oh my god. But Back in shape. Please. Ah, it's Bowser the Koopa King. The leader, somebody help. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing in here? I've been looking all over. If I may, if I may ask, where have you been, you sogginess? Uh, swimming! Really? Neat! As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were really cool. That was so overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then, the hot dogs. Oh my gracious. Yummerly. You have fun too, hmm? Roar! God, Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible! You hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! But forget it, it's over! Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now! I can't believe it was fake Mario all that time. <laughs> so we were all fooled. I'm um, so sorry, Mario, after all of you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey Mario, we need to get back to Regport, right? Let's go. Please come back and visit anytime you like. Okay. This was a cool chapter. Oh my goodness, Mario, that sounds like you got an email. Okay. I just wanted a clean loop of it. <laughs> <laughs> I might cut that out later. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. 
It is the spirit of a demon. The x knots plan to use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? Oh, we don't want to go in here. Use Ponus. Ow! I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. Nope. See ya. Probably swap back. I bet the stuff we get to over here now. I have a fun. I want to find Luigi. Where is the big Luigi? Also, they were not there before. My bad. Press the wrong button. Supposed to be this, then this. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually he might have been a bandit. Maybe that guy was sneaking into chimneys. Hey, we can do this now. What do you blokes want? I have no interest in passing time with you, so leave me be. Now away with you. Never. I have no interest in passing time with you, so leave me be! Alright. I would like to find... Ouija. Where is Ouija? Oh, hello. There's a boat here. No matter how much work it seems, it seems like I'll never get 50 kill every Of course, I ain't got a choice. Gotta work with to live. Okay, out of the way, crumb bum. Move your pirate booty. The, I noticed the investment dude is not there anymore. Once again, I may have gotten scammed for coins in a game. Okay, well, I don't see Luigi anywhere, so... Down we go.
Oh, but I... No, 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 no. But I can smack this now. Oh, right, there we go. Well, that makes it easier. I just realized I can do this. Is this just to get across? No. Even better. You know what? Do that. We're headed out to sea. That island's probably the thing. Yeah, figured as much. We'd better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> that was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Nah. Mm -hmm. This is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there. In front of the screen, you listen to breaking the fourth wall. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, you never mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which once stood here may well refer to this demon. It is said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to the legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon. And they sealed its wicked spirit beneath the Palace of Shadow. Or within the Palace of Shadow. I can't read anymore. Leave me alone. Locked behind the thousand year door. <laughs> from this I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either sail away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or evil. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. Does anyone think it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh. Then I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars if we want to seal that demon, huh? Where do we start? Yeah. Actually, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keelhole Key. 
Steel Hole Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. I want to find Luigi. Hopefully he is out and about. Where are you, brother? No matter how much I work, oh yeah, there's got to be a way to get rich. Poof, and you know, rich. Or oh, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, yeah? You got something to say? Right then, ask me anything. I'm an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Ooh, kill hole key. Listen, mate. Uh, don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from a pirate king. See that ship dock there belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail often though, he mostly hangs at Podley's joint. Doesn't look like Luigi's gonna be around. Well, it's, uh, past midnight. Almost. Hmm. Yeah, no idea where Weege is. I want to hear more of his story. Alright, well. We will leave it here for tonight. I think it's a good stopping point. Starting the next chapter. Alright, so I'll continue this later on in the week. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed as well. If you do want to support the channel over there that holds all those VODs, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or watch me play other things in the meantime, if you want as well, by clicking those videos that pop up at the end. That stuff helps the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do that. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, we'll continue this next time.